And yes, I'm in my pajamas still because this is that sort of day. Hello everyone! Welcome to our business with Ness. I'm Ness and I'm a professional illustrator. Today we're talking about how to use mock-ups in your illustration career. So mock-ups are a way to show what your art would look like on a final product without having to actually create and manufacture that final product. This is super useful in surface design especially because you can showcase how your patterns would look like on many different products like cushions or fabrics or water bottles, whatever you want. And it's very efficient and quick. You can create that in just a few clicks and it's very affordable as well. But it's not just useful in surface design. You could mock up your personal illustrations into book mockups or magazine mockups. This is a great way to show art directors what your art could look like on a professional project, even if you haven't had any professional contracts yet. Pro tip, mockups are also an amazing way to liven up your Instagram feed. So today we're going to discuss where to find mockups, where to find free ones or paid ones, and how to use them in Photoshop. But right before we jump into it, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell. The bell sends you a notification every time I upload a new video, and this way you're sure that you won't miss any of the advice. All right, let's jump right into it. So the first thing we have to do is find mockups. Where does one find mockups? There are many, many places. Some of my favorites are Etsy or Creative Market. So here we are on Etsy, for example, I typed in greeting card mockup and a lot of things are popping up. You have individual photos here or you also have bundles. There are two types of mockups. Some of them are flat images. I think this is what this is. I might have bought this one before. <laughs> and I think they are JPEG, so they are flat photos. And then the other type is a type where everything is on separate layers and it's already prepped in Photoshop for you to place your pattern or image in. So of course those are easier to use, but they're also a bit more expensive. This whole pack 50 card mockups and it's 7 and 79 Canadian dollars. So very, very affordable. On creative market, you find a lot of the more complex mockups, which are already all prepared for you. So in creative market, if you go here in templates, there is a whole category just for mockups for different things like branding, print, product, blah, blah, blah. If we go here to scene creator, you'll see there are many different things with uh, devices or uh, these are like walls and everything is on different layers. So you can move stuff around and create your little scene. This one here, for example, is a stationary collection mock-up. You get all of these different things. This would be so perfect in order to create a stationary collection for surface design, right? You could mock up your whole collection on all of these products. On Creative Market, one of the most popular creators is called Creatsi. Let's see if I can find her. Here we are. So Creatsi is the king or queen <laughs> of mock-ups. She or he has so many of them and they are super high quality and all prepared and ready to use. So you can see a mock-up set with commercial is $16, those are in Canadian dollars, I think. And they are set, so they offer a few different images, I believe. She has different sort of sets, but super, super easy to use. They are my absolute favorites because it's always perfect. You can also find free images to use for mock-ups, but it's a little bit more difficult. You have to look for it a little bit more. And most of the time they will be completely flat type uh, JPEG images that you have to prepare yourself. So one of my favorite sites to find free copyright free images is pexels.com. So here we are on pexels.com and there's many different images, photos and things like that. If we search something like iPad or something like that, you can find some images where here, for example, you could take this image and you could on Photoshop remove the screen in order to put in your image instead. There's a little bit of work involved and they're not as flexible as mock-ups as you can buy on sites like Etsy or Creative Market. So it can be a bit difficult to find exactly what you're looking for, but sometimes you can find some of them that are perfect for what you need and with a little bit of work, you can transform them into a flexible mock-up. 
So firstly, I'm going to show you how to use a mock-up that has already been prepared and separate into layers for you. So here I'm using a pattern from Nerida Hansen at patternfeelhab.com. And so as you can see, there's already all of these layers. She even has colored the layer that we need to change. So if you can see here, this is the skirt part and this is the sleeve part. It's all separated and identified, so it's super easy. These pieces here are smart objects. You can see the little icon here. This means that it's a smart object. So you have to go into the object by double clicking and then you put your pattern here inside. So as you can see, she has kind of put these two layers in order to uh, tile our pattern, but there's actually an easier way that we can do that. <laughs> so you're gonna click on the little icon here, the circle at the bottom, this is adjustment layers, and you're going to select pattern. All right, so this is going to create another layer with all of your patterns. You can select your pattern here. Now, if you don't have any of your patterns here, it's because you have to add them to your pattern library in Photoshop. And how you do that is you simply open one of your tiles, right? So one of your Photoshop files that has the exact tile, and you're going to do edit, define pattern. You can use whatever name you want. And inside of your pattern library, you can even separate it by folders. So you arrange it however you like. And after you have done this, then you'll be able to just create an adjustment layer with patterns and select any one of your patterns. Let's say I'm going to select the, the one with the little rabbits. You can change the scale here. So let's try and do something like that. We might have to adjust. That's okay. We're going to go see how it looks on the mock-up and then we're going to adjust if necessary. So to go back to the mock-up, you simply click the X and don't forget to save. We're going back into the mock-up now and it's going to update what we can see. Now the skirt as updated actually looks pretty good. I like this scale. What was it? 20%? So we're just going to do the same thing with all of the pieces. So let's go into the sleeve and put in our pattern. Again, we're gonna select the right one at 20%. And let's just do this for all the parts of the pattern. All right, so here we are. We have updated all of the parts of the dress. And I think I would change the sleeves a little bit because they're really symmetrical right now. We can go into the smart object and move the pattern about a little bit just so it's a bit different. All right, that already looks better. So let's say that I'm happy with that and I would just save this image as my mock-up. Next, let me show you how to use a flat mockup, basically just a photo that doesn't have any prepared layers for you. So this is a beautiful photo from Ready Tank, the seller we saw earlier on Etsy. And as you can see, there's only one layer. So this is all flat. I want to put in my greeting card design right here. How do I do that? So first things first, I'm going to drag and drop my image into this Photoshop file. So it's going to pop it in right here as a smart object automatically. When you drag and drop into Photoshop, it becomes a smart object. And this is what we want. I'm going to reduce the opacity of this a little bit so that I can see behind. And let's resize this to approximately the size of the card. We're going to adjust afterwards. All right, so this is fairly similar. The card is a little wider than the actual card on the mock-up. So we're going to have to cut a little bit into it so that we can still have the good ratio for the card. Make sure that there's no white anywhere. Even if it has to be a little bit bigger, that's better than showing the whites on the side. All right. Next, we're going to create a mask to delete all of those edges. At this point here, we can even hide this layer. We don't really need it. I'm going to select the polygonal lasso and we're going to start here and just trace the shape of this greeting card. 
as closely as possible as we can. All right, now we have our selection. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn on this layer again, and we are simply going to click on the mask icon right here, click, and it's going to automatically create a mask for the shape that we had selected. Now we're going to turn this layer back to 100% opacity. And the last thing that we have to do is put this layer into multiply mode so that it blends in nicely with the background. And here we go, we added our greeting card design into this mock-up. The great thing about this is that if you go into the smart object, you can now replace this with any other design and it will now integrate with this mock-up. Let's try to put in another card. So I dragged in here uh, this Christmas card. Now it's very important that you merge down this layer because if it has multiple layers into it, it will not register it. Now we're going to close this, save. And as you can see, it replaced the mock-up and it kept our selection and the layer mode and everything. So basically what you have created here is a file that is very similar to what I showed you earlier, my mock-up from Nerida Hansen. Now you have simply created your own flexible and modifiable mockup template. Don't forget to save this as a PSD to preserve your layers so that you can easily edit it layer without having to redo this entire process. And that's it, it's as simple as that. Using these methods, you can showcase your work on your website or on your social media very professionally without having to break the wallet. Mockups are a really great way to impress potential clients when you're looking for work. And if you happen to be looking for work right now, then I have a free guide that you might find really useful. It's called seven surprising ways to find illustration clients. As I said, it's completely free and I will leave the link to that in the description below. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help our small channel grow. Thank you for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.